Well, hello, 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 you guys. Welcome to another stream, of course. This is your boy, Teach Ones Bankai. I hope you guys are having a fantastic rest of your Wednesday. Today is just going to be a bonus stream. Nothing crazy. Uh, no games, no nothing. Just kind of just have a talk show. So I'm right now um, currently... Actually, let me get the Jacksons out of the way. Um, if any of you guys are watching this on YouTube uh, from archives... Uh, you're missing out a lot, so just follow me on Twitch. Uh, the it's down in the description below, of course. It's there. Uh, you can come join and follow me there, and you can tune in on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Uh, you guys will see me there. So anyways, uh, let me get right to the point. So today is, it's not technically today, but back in April, uh, March was actually my anniversary uh, for doing this uh, for quite a while. So we've been doing this for almost three years. Just kind of crazy. Uh, right now, I'm actually helping a uh, Pokemon trainer on, uh, on a group on Facebook to uh, get some Pokemon exclusives right now. So I'm just doing, they said do them all or possible, but I said, you know what? What I'll do is I'll do the the national decks, <laughs> which the national decks is going to be annoying. So I'm going to help you with that. Everything else is obtainable in the game fine <laughs> all that good stuff um so it's been a long time trust me just from starting my journey from doing this to it's i'm not like really not paying attention to you guys i'm just trying to do this at the same time uh which is quite annoying because like i said this is pokemon and um so i'm having to look for the pokemon i need because i i have everything kind of like not in chronicle order but or anything it's just more like um like i have these pokemon on me i just need to look for pokemon i'm looking for so but yeah i'm just kind of messaging this person right now so Or whatever so that's not even the point so anyways i'm sorry if i'm not talking for a second um so one of the issues like i said when you're first starting out which is kind of hilarious is yeah you're gonna have nobody that's gonna be part of it's it's part of it you know but as i said as i said uh earlier um it, it's just to the point where freaking um you're gonna need equipment. You start on your. You, I did. What's funny is, I actually started streaming when I when I started. I did the consoles <sighs> from the PlayStation Four. Oh my God! Well, back then. Now I'm on the PS Five. Of course, I don't know how it's different now, but I hated the console. Um, like the setup that way, I found it very, very annoying. By the way, <laughs> so, which is whatever you know. You do what you gotta do, you know? Um, so. Jesus. It was funny. There's so many Pokemon in the exclusives, uh, exclusive line. Uh, actually, there's not really that many. I just gotta do Vulpix. I just gotta do a couple more. Um, Vulpix. Yeah, I, I gotta find... Because I have, like, it's funny as I'm talking to these people. I have these Pokemon. Um, oh, maybe, maybe I still have the Vulpix, that's why. Because I didn't evolve this Pokemon yet. So it's probably still a Vulpix, yep. Oh, whatever, so. So that's not even, and I, I wanted to celebrate this because, honestly, this has been a long journey. And throughout the stream, too, I want to review, I want to watch some clips with you guys. Because it's, some of these clips are either A, stupid, or B, like, what are these clips? I'm like, sometimes I wonder how much I've grown over the years, you know, just like kind of like almost kind of like a. Like a flashback, kind of in a weird sense. All right, yeah, because honestly, like the national decks. I find national decks very, very annoying. Because right now, like I'm trying to catch the Pokemon I need. But as I mentioned, um, 
I'm doing all the national decks. I might end up doing like a couple for this person. I don't want to do all of them. I'll probably do like just a few. Because some of these are not evolution or whatever. So I'm going to do this, probably make this my last one, and I'll just do give her three as you go. But whatever it is. But anyways, it's it's been so long because it's not even. Like, it's not even like the, the Like, honestly, one of the like I said, one of the things that gives people a really hard time with what what this is about now is because of they don't have a following or nobody like honestly. And the other thing is, too, is the discoverability is terrible, you know? Um, I'm about to go on TikTok Live, too, after, uh, at the same time for this, too, because, like I said, we're not really focusing on, like, gaming or anything. There's nothing. It's just me and you on a camera talking, and that's it, you know? All right, let me tell this person I'm ready. I just did a couple, so it's not too much to overwhelm. All right. I'll just do like three. All right. This process is very annoying and whatever, so it's really not an issue with me doing it. It's just, uh, this is a lot of Pokemon that you want me to get a list for, and I, I have all the Pokemon, like, sitting here. It's just that I don't want to waste too much time. All right, um, let me just, uh, I'll just tell the code. Okay. I'm just really, I'm just trying to help somebody in some way, shape, or form. I didn't have to do it, but I did anyway, so. Okay, enjoy the time of the cold room. Okay. At least like this, because honestly. This Noxy thing is actually pretty cool. I like when it holds. Like, literally, it holds. I have it on my phone. I'm holding my Switch, so it's hilarious. I usually hold my phone just for, like, live stuff and whatever, so I figured it might be cool to hold my phone. But right now, um, like I said, we're kind of just focused on what we need to do, so... Oh, whatever. So that's not even the point. So literally the entire point is not even and like I said, you're gonna you're gonna have to take some time to understand the dynamics and to understand and experience being live. Because one of the like I said, one of the major flaws is entertaining yourself first and then entertaining others or whatever. Oh. Actually, I do kind of like it the way it was turned on like this. So it looks like better lighting. But. But anywho, um. Like, it's crazy. Like, I used to use like, I remember using my old capture card over here using the Elgato um, HD 60S. Oh, no, excuse, uh, HD, uh, original, the original capture card, like HD um, Elgato game capture. And the problem with that one was it had a delay and used to fuck with me all the time. So that's that was an issue, of course, uh, which kind of was like I said, it was very aggravating. It was just to the point where, as I was saying, it, you know, it, it's just now what people don't understand is like, oh, this is such an easy job. This is this. I'm like, no, it's not. And that's not, and that's not what, like, I want from the platform. That's not even why. But, as I mentioned, this is just, like, a talk stream. Like, I don't, I don't want to play any games. Because, honestly, I, this is usually my day off. And I figured, 
I want to celebrate it in some ways the anniversary from doing this. I'm like, yeah. So the question is, what did you learn from doing from as you do this? You know, I've learned to you kind of have to do a lot of things with yourself. Unfortunately, which is terrible, which, like I said, it's a lot. It's a huge, drastic change. And I find this very annoying, you know. I mean, number one, you're going to have to. Hold on one second. It's Global Room. Um, but that's not even the point. And like I said, I, I'm not even and I want to be like somebody. You know, I. Let me uh, let me kind of slow down a little bit. I am kind of going a little bit haywire. That's also one of my weaknesses. I have a little bit of a crazy fucking mind going on, going crazy about it. Um, but did I learn from me from doing this? Yes, I learned tons of things. Um, I work with people, of course. Not work with people, but I have worked with artists and try to treat them right, of course. Some people don't do that, which is kind of sad, honestly. But anyways, I have some artwork, of course, for you guys that... Which is hilarious. I wish I had, like... A way to kind of display it like for you guys because i have tons of art uh from doing this i have tons of it i have tons of it yes all right oh there we go all right let me give her we'll give this person their pokemon uh, i just did like three because I would have done more, but it would have took way too long. And. Like, I found this very annoying, like, like, I'm talking about a uh, brilliant diamond shining pearl. Uh, that's why we're doing right now doing a trade because I already have the Pokemon that I need. From I have all the breedable Pokemon, no issues. I'm like, yeah, some of them are from the marsh, which is very fucking annoying. It's random. It's whatever. And then you go from that to so, like I had to get like a couple of those Pokemon from these people. Like yeah, I gave away some shiny Pokemon, which is kind of fucking stupid. Like first of all, you're breeding a Pokemon. Like who the fuck cares? I'm like I'm breeding Pokemon. You know, like who cares? I'm like I'm breeding Pokemon. I'm not really like like trading. You know. So I just did like the first three, and that's it. You know, I'm like I'm not gonna go like. I don't even have like I, you have to get stones. The way to get the stones in the game is you have to. I, I'm not even joking. You literally have to get like you have to go mine it, which is like it's totally opposite from sword and shield. Like you just go out and find it on the floor or whatever. Instead, you got to mine it down here, which is like an old mechanic from back in Gen Four and everything. And it was an, actually a fantastic time. And uh, recently too, which is kind of hilarious. Um, I literally, and I hate to say this too, is because of the eShop is now shutting down, like on the Switch, not on the Switch, on the uh, 3DS and Wii U shops. So I don't have my Wii U anymore because I sold mine. I sold mine for like, I think it was like a hundred bucks. I didn't, I didn't really care at the time. Uh, but now the unfortunate part is their games are going to be, their games going to be gone, which which sucks. So now they're shutting down the eShop. So I got a few games. Um, so I got, uh, let me just display on screen here real quick. Uh, so I got Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Yellow. Uh, let me just go up, there you go. I got Pokemon Silver, Pokemon Gold, and Pokemon Crystal. Because those games are gonna be gone on the eShop. And which is unfortunate because, like I said, the other thing that that's going to be worrying for me is. <laughs> um, you know, which for me, which sucks, because, like I said, those games would be gone. All like the good 3DS games. <laughs> um. You know, whatever, so. All right, there we go. Now I can uh, 
Now I can actually press live on freaking... I can press live on the crappy platform. You know, whatever. Yeah, I'm just not, I'm not going to do like crazy, you know, because now I'm going to do both you guys, both you guys and the con, you know. But like I said, the other thing is. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying earlier, it was just. It's not even about, like, you doing this as as you go, you know? That's... All right, give me one second. Um, <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to put up the charger. Yeah, in even I was saying earlier, it's not it's not easy. It's It's not an easy thing to deal with, you know? It's not easy. It's just... Now, I... I I, I could, like I said, I mainly talk about companies. I mainly talk about just whatever I want. And I said, look, like I said, I believe that, you know, all these companies are not doing very good with their game preservation. Like right now, like they're not doing very good right now. Like right now, I have some collections. Um, I still have some 3DS games up here. I got some DS games here. I just got, um, I got a couple DVDs over there. And the reason, howdy, howdy, how you doing, Faith Welty? How you doing, bud? Um, so that's not even like why, you know. Um, so uh, TikTok, I'm also on Twitch as well, so I'm not trying to ignore you, but I'm just trying to multitask here, so everything's gonna be fun as hell. All right, so that and like I said, I have a few collections there and there, and there was a fine. So and you know everything's cool and all. It, it's just that. You got to connect with your platform. You connect with people all across your platform. If somebody likes you for who you are, okay, then that person's going to follow you. And then that person might be curious of, oh, do you have other social medias? Okay, do you also, do you only do this or whatever? It really just depends on what you do as a person or whatever. I mean, like I said, I can show off like my collection. I literally just got like two new DVDs just today. So, as I said, I will show you guys, no problem. So, so unfortunately, every, when I'm growing up as a kid, so I've watched this show a few times, but I have to, like, watch it again. So, first of all, I got the Avatar, the, the last Amber to complete series, which... I know what this is, and this was around my age group. This was literally like around the time that I was growing up at the time. And some of these shows were fantastic, you know, and whatever. So, I mean, do I want to watch this? Of course I will, but I, I have to have time for it. And there's other shows I'm watching right now. Like, like literally, we just finished watching. I just finished watching myself, like Jimmy Neutron. I just finished watching that. All three series all three seasons of jimmy neutron not even fucking joking all three seasons you know whatever that's not even the fucking point um everything's great and all so that's not even and like i said that's not even the point like i like honestly it's like yeah i mean i felt like a lot of shows i've watched and i did want to watch really bad was a lot of nickelodeon but there was some cartoon network stuff i have watched the Grim Fetches of Billy Mandy. That was a fantastic show in itself. Even though it's memes and shit. I don't even fucking care at this point. It's great. Oh, for one. And even I was saying, like, yeah, a lot of Nickelodeon, too. Like, there was some Nickelodeon stuff I'm kind of curious about. You know, there's Rugrats, which I've watched that many times. I have, I just got fucking Rocket Power, for crying out loud. I just got Rocket Power. Rocket Power on DVD, all the seasons and everything. It's... Fantastic. And I do want to watch this really bad. And trust me, like these shows are really fucking good. Like, like I said, this isn't just like the like what I like about a lot of stuff like this isn't just a cartoon where it's like, oh, well, there's no story behind it. 
I always hated that. There's no story. It's just random episodes they add in there. And there's no, like, consistent storyline. Never will be, you know? Whatever. So, there's that, of course. Um, but, but anyways, you know, th those were very enjoyable for me. Uh, but anyways, over the years, like, I remember on my affiliate account, on, on my account, not on here, but on, on Twitch, of course, I, I started off with just my character itself. Just whatever reason you know i started with that it was my very first commission that i've gotten and it was a fantastic time i've used a lot of it and you know i loved it you know whatever i paid i think i paid like 50 bucks for it which whatever it's our it's our it's our who the fuck here this was back in like 2018 2017 when i ordered it first and i used this as my profile picture to start with you know so there's that, of course. Um, but the thing is, too, as well, is, um, you know, it, it's just, you know, a process. It, ta it takes time. It's a process. It's mainly just kind of, and also, it's a habit as well. You got to build that habit. You got to do what you got to do. I know people love to use the fucking networking bullshit. Oh, of course I missed the shot. <laughs> of course I missed a fucking shot of throwing my bottle in there. God damn it. So, well, anyways, let me put this back in here. Uh, we put these DVDs back, honestly. Um, and even like there's there's still like some little things I still want to do. Like I still want to be part of. I personally, I personally, in my opinion, I would love to be part of a podcast. <laughs> Talk about. If it's like issues with people, that stuff, I, I guess like I would be a part of that because a lot of people don't seem to understand, which I don't know why either, to be perfectly fucking honest, is it's annoying, you know, it's annoying to like, well, people don't, I don't know, I, honestly, people are fucking selfish and that's how it is, you know, whatever, but you know, you got to do what you got to do, you know? I'll uh, be right back real quick. Try to grab a... Uh... I got so many fucking DVDs, I'm not even fucking joking. Not, I, have, I don't have, like, a crazy lot, but... I got quite a few. Like, right now... I'll sh Hell, I'll show you guys the... I don't know if I showed you guys last stream, or a couple of weeks ago. I have showed off my... Rocket Power one. I just got this one. I know it's not out of my, like... I I remember this when I was a kid. This was, like, a show where a bunch of kids are doing, like, skateboarding sports, roller skating, snowboarding, surfing, all these sports that they're doing. You know, whatever. And that shit was very, very exciting, honestly. It was, you know, for a long time. And... Like I said, even for like the Avatar and the Legend of Korra, and I showed off Legend of Korra as well. Um, I know that's a prequel, and that's like the sequel after the the Av uh, you know Last Airbender. I still want to watch it because there's a lot of things I can kind of understand. I hear so many things about it, and I could watch it on on my console. But I watch it on my PlayStation Five. I don't have a DV player, but you know what? I don't give a damn. Um, so there's that, of course, which that'll be lots of fun to do. But again, we'll see how this goes, because that's the other thing with content creation is getting to know your audience. And then, of course, people come in, you do talk. But then there's some times where like it's dead and you kind of do what you got to do. And I had to learn that way, that hard of a way, you know. So I'm actually going to what I'm going to do for you guys is. I would switch it to a uh, non TikTok. Sorry, guys. Uh, you have to watch me on Twitch to see all the, the funny clips and whatnot. Uh, we're going to switch to um, the, the the gaming clips from the past and just watch these and just watch how like everything's changed. So let me get to Windows Capture. Uh, there you go. There's, there it is right here. Let me just. Uh, 
do this. Um, hold on. I had to make sure this is seeable because this is annoying. All right, there we go. All right, let's get uh, let's get our headphones in because let's let's get our horses together. Let's get our crap. Let's get everything else kind of just going, you know. All right, let's see here. Let's watch the uh, first clip. It's a bunch of it is Mario Kart. This is what a bunch of it really goes down to, um, which is hilarious. Uh, let me just get a browser. OK, no, everything's on browser. OK. So let me just. Do this. Um, I don't know if I should play this uh, audio. I don't try to remember like most of this audio. So let me just. Uh, Damn it. See, the only thing that hover, the only thing to hover application sucks is like loading up all your sh all your screen, all your like your videos. All at once, which is annoying in itself. There we go. See, it's loading, but it's taking a little bit to kind of load in. If you get my drift. Or whatever. So that's not even like why. OK, let me hold on a second. Oh, God, some of these fucking clips, I'm just going to like remember half the shit that, that that goes on. This is going to make me fucking shit myself in many ways. Oh, this was by. OK, what was like the entire point of this clip? I just want to know. Oh, I know this was like where I had like two boom boxes or I had a boom box. I think this is why I had another boom box. Yes, yeah, so I had two boom boxes twice in a row. ZZ. I don't know. I was just mumbling to myself that one time. It's hilarious. Oh, my God. Nice. OK, yeah. Yeah, this was like taken where my camera uh, became like um, Um, I you can already do that in Crash Bandicoot, by the way, Apex. Uh, favorite cheese? Oh, hello, oh hello, bees. How you doing, bud? I have, hope you're having a uh, fantastic rest of your lovely evening. Um, sorry, I literally just uh, I just pulled up the window to see Streamlabs, and your chat just popped up maybe a second ago. Uh, favorite cheese? Uh, I love Swiss cheese. If I had to be honest, I love Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese is a, I don't know, Swiss cheese, something with Swiss cheese is a fantastic time. Do you like? All right, what, I don't know what type of cheese is that um, Beezy bees. What's this, what, what type of cheese is that? I'm just curious. Uh, let me just get out of this. Like, that's honestly terrible that. We can't even. Um, it's like minimized, but it's like I said, I don't have like a secondary monitor to use this for, so it's very annoying. To kind of do that. As a lot of these clips, I have, I have, I have like so many clips of just stupid shit. I mean, I do have. Uh, uh yeah, no, uh, Apex. I don't do. Uh, <laughs> I get that. It's cool and all. Oh, Koo cheese is good cheese. I don't know. I, I, BZ, I prefer uh, Swiss cheese, by the way. Um, Apex, to answer your question, um, I probably wouldn't do that. That's me, though. I mean, the hogs, they're delicious. We killed the pigs. But anyways, what, what, what is like one of my favorite clips on this game? I, I have to like. Um, so I have like a few. Like, I have a couple of friends that just kind of fucked around and just. Oh, wait, no. I think this one's not too bad. Hold on. Oh, my God. What is this? Oh, why did I. Why did I have the echo? Oh, I'm saying Kochi's slow. Ah, okay. 
Yeah, um, I like Swiss, in my opinion. I don't... I, I remember just those days. I think I had, like, the, um, not the Elka. I think I had the, um, what's the mic called? Uh, Yeti. I had a Blue Yeti, and it was awful mic. I think it just picked up, like, everywhere. I didn't know how to use it at first for a while. But later on, of course, freaking, uh... Well, I see, I got a couple of karaoke streams. Well, this was, like, a while back. I remember even, like... I think it was like maybe three, two years ago, three years ago before they shut it down. I mean, like I said, I'm actually very curious of Twitch things. Now, let me just look this up because it's like I said, it's been so fucking long that we've seen Twitch things. January. There you go. Yeah, see, this was... See, I remember this was a thing. Oh, BZ wants to add 10 dragon fruits. Okay, bud, we got you right now. Let's get you, uh... Let's get you going. Uh, let me just, uh... Switch to webcam real quick. Like I said, this is more just a talking... A, po a talking phase thing, and... Nothing really crazy we're doing, so let me just add your points real quick. Which I forget. All right, BZ wants to add. All right, loyalty, giveaways, cues. There you go. Uh, leaderboard. Give points. Uh, oh, my God. Let me spell your username one more time. Bezo. Okay, Bezo. Um, let me just check. He's a 1Z, gets 10 points. Where is your points on this thing anyways? That's a really good question. Yeah, no thanks, Apex. I'm not checking out any videos. Um, let's see here. Um, why are you down here? Yeah, we'll, we'll give you uh, some free points because you're not a bot. You're a man. You're a man of public legend. You're a man of public. Dude, it's a joke. Koshies. I really don't get that joke. I, I don't I don't know why. Maybe I'm just dull as shit. Maybe. I don't know. I'm so fucking dull. Oh, man. Um, But anyways, let me just uh, put on this hat on before I lose my shit. This gorgeous hat. Ugh, I think I. Ugh, I think I have a bruise or something. But anyways. All right, let me see here. Um. There you go. Let's do this. Uh, we don't need this. All right, let's go back to Windows Capture. Does anybody fucking remember? I I'm going to ask cover this question. Does anybody remember this fucking application being a thing? OK. See, this is the article and. What makes me really pissed is like this was an application you could use on Twitch and you were able to. Go coochie in your free time. Yeah, okay, buddy. I don't even do that shit. But does anybody remember this fucking application? I, I just want to know. The reason I'm asking is this was an application that it was built. To, it wasn't built in, but like you can download it to your computer and then you just have like your microphone or whatever you work with it. And you had your character had an outfit or whatever, and you're able to sing like copyrighted songs on here. No problems. And they won't even flag you for it. But now, you know, back in the day, this was like back in 2020. Whatever, see, back in 2021. <laughs> like, this was the shit. Like, this was like a really good, like, I've gotten so many good ways of doing this. See, look at the future. We have decided to invest in broader tools, help support the entire music industry. See, yeah, that's full of, you're, you're, see, these guys are full of shit. All right, thank you, Bees, for, uh, for the lurk. I hope you appreciate, I hope you have a uh, fantastic rest of your lovely evening. Hope you have a good one. Um, so yeah, as I was saying earlier, 
you know, growing the entire music industry of Twitch because of this, we made difficult decisions close to Twitch Sings. This community has inspired us through the talent, passion. We all thank you for your giving to Twitch Sings over the years. So we're grateful for all the streaming singers who contribute to the Sings community, making one of the most inspiring groups within Twitch. Uh, today, we released the entire backlog of 400 new songs. Hope we continue to Twitch Sings the next few months, December 1st. We remove singing videos and clips for our contract obligations. And on January 1st, the game will stop working. Looking ahead, we're excited to share more. See, here's the thing. You guys had this fucking application. You guys had this fucking application, okay? Which it fucking worked. And it did fantastic. You know, you and this was like a really fun for me. It really was. It was very exciting. And whatever you whatever you want to call it. It, that's fine you know that was fine i don't i could i could fucking care less because like i said like the 2019 like jesus christ i started in 2018 like i said this was a really good way to like ha able to use cop like able to sing like as i love i love karaoke streams i miss doing karaoke streams i feel like honestly it's you know i would i would do this again i would love to do this again like i'm not even joking i would love to do this again love to do twitch sings or some sort of karaoke machine and sing through it but now the problem is because of copyright bullshit um here they go you know whatever uh but that was kind of like i said that was kind of just my experience in general you know um like I said, it was not really the best way I can really do it. Um, let me just, you know what? For my old clips, I'm going to go through my my profile on here because I have the clips on here or whatever, uh, which is not an issue. Uh, so I'm not really. Let me just uh, find what I'm looking for here. So I have tons and tons of clips here from when I was start when I started and then now into whatever. So I have this one. Oh, what is this one? What is this? All right, what is that? <laughs> I'll do the right thing. <laughs> oh, what what is this? What is this? <laughs> I'll do the right thing. Right Hi, can I get a car? Coffee, three extra creams, two sugar, and uh, finally, a dirty man sauce. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, I don't know why I came up with this shit. I don't even know why. I just started to come up with this shit. I just, I just said, like, you know what? Let me involve some sort of Starbucks. And just not care of what happens, you know, I just like whatever, like, like I had this like weird stereotype, like a uh, uh, stereotype, a. Uh... Whatever, I, I see, I don't want this user even asking me for it's weird. Um, yeah, that was a thing I, that was fucking hilarious. Oh, there we go. Hold on. What's the next one? Oh, luck was on my side. Look at the awful audio. Look at the awful fucking just awful camera. Like I was using the laptop camera, man. Like it was terrible. I was wearing like a freaking like one of those hats that had pins on it. And I washed it one day and it just came off, you know? Oh, nice. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, this was like totally like a thing to remember. All right, what's the next one is? Oh shit, we have some fucking copyright music. Well, fuck, there's some like Britney Spears radio over here. <laughs> All right, uh, we trying to mute this. See, this was like just me playing music and just singing a song for no reason. I don't know why. It's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this was like where I got a blue shell on somebody.
Oh, another copyright music. <laughs> I'm just like dancing like an idiot. I'm like ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> just dancing around. While I'm playing the game like a, like a total child. All right, what is this one? I can make so many jokes right now, but I don't want to do it. Oh yeah, I I think I merged two clips by accident. Basically, what this ha what happened here was I must have. I had like a three second fucking clip of like me saying like I can make jokes right now, but I don't want to. So the joke is literally this character from Final Fantasy 14 is fucking job of the hut. Make fucking jokes. This was literally I used to do this back in the day. I used to freaking. Um, literally, like literally, I what I used to do was. I would stream, I would probably stream an expansion at the time. I did, um, I don't think I did Stormblood. I did Shadowbringers, and then now I did Ed Walker so many times. I think I did Ed Walker maybe three or four times. I remember Shadowbringers alone, I think, took me 18 hours to complete with the story and everything, and all the cues and everything, whatever. You know, that was quite the doozy. So... And then now with Endwalker, I think Endwalker took even longer than that. I think it took me almost 30 hours or something like that. Oh, what is this? All right. Blue fire deep within. OK, maybe. Jeez, that audio. Ah, the audio is terrible. It was something my f it was something with my fucking audio. It was, it was very fucking annoying. Oh, what the hell I did with this fucking audio? It's so bad. Like, oh my god. I, I must have yelled so. Screenshot that it's like, oh, when you're I wasn't going to play this today, but instead, I... what is this? What is this, man? Oh, yeah, this guy back in the day, one of the somebody uh tried to scare me with the um, with the Donnie Thornberry freaking uh host thing, it was hilarious. What is this? All right, besides the shitty like audio that I had to come out of my mic at the time, it was awful. I swear to God, this was like years ago when I first started freaking playing this and the game just didn't load completely to where like you can't even see the whole track. And somebody was like, oh, how do you remember this freaking track from, from a teen? I'm like, I don't fucking know. All I know is somehow I just fell off the edge. And I just remember doing this, you know. <laughs> well, that was a doozy of a clip. What is this? Oh my god, the fucking dance, the victory dance shit. Oh my god, I would do this again with you guys. I would do this uh, once again. I haven't done this. I haven't done that in so long. Just remember how awful, like literally, just how awful the fucking the the, the overlay was. It was so bad. <laughs> All right. Um, what is this? Oh, no, that has audio. Nope, that has uh, that has some fucking copyright music in it. This was like so much fun back in the day. Now it's like, where do all these people go? Like, like, I know people are around and then they stop watching. Oh, we watched this one already. Uh, nope. Payback's a bitch. What's this one? Oh, this is so much better audio. Oh my god. I probably because I got him back because he squashed me. When an opponent passes you, but you got a plan to turn it around. Oh, 
How? See. <laughs> All right, later, buddy. Wow, I must have like whoever was that Koala Kong must have gotten really pissed off because I had to like I had no choice but to like get rid of him. Oh, another victory dance. Uh, Stitch. Christian bailed. Later, buddy. Oh shit! This was like where. Uh... Oh yeah. I was just going through the entire lap with. No, nope, never mind. Oh yeah, this was like one of the last few seasons of um, one of the last like racing seasons on this on Crash Team Racing Nitro Field, because I did seasons at the time, and oh, this one's probably cringe. This one's probably cringe right about now. Ah. Oh! Uh, you know what's funny is I haven't streamed Call of Duty in so long. I was thinking about doing that one day. Oh, I was playing. I think I was playing that. I was just nasty. I don't really, and I don't really play this game too much. I really don't. Like not too often. Let the bodies hit the floor. When a monster house appears on the last floor of the dungeon. Oh, I remember this. This was uh. Yeah, this was from re this was some like. Okay, so I have so many different clips. <laughs> oh yeah, this was where um I stepped on a gust trap and it just fucking just blew me away towards the stairs. That was quite the doozy. I don't know. I just did this one um for shits and giggles. Uh this one's kind of inappropriate. I love how, like, I think they named... I feel like they named that after, like, a fart, after, like, a nuclear bomb from World War II. Oh, yeah, this is the one that I didn't have... I had I had no fucking views because the fucking character was naked in the game. Questioning the girl's uh, South Park secret base. So, I'm kind of like... I want to word this better than, like, all the other shit. <laughs> So I just had a question like, why? How did the girls build a base inside a bathroom where people actually took shits and took dumps and whatnot? What the hell is going on? Oh, this is the unknown thief. This is I was playing like the stick of truth. This was such a hilarious moment. Uh, Life is strange. Oh, see, so most of these are freaking South Park. You know what's funny is I think I heard that they banned um, South Park. From uh from Netflix, you have to watch um in America, you have to watch it somewhere else. So you have to use VPN to kind of switch your location so you can watch South Park still. <laughs> oh, this is one when you're in a strip club and fucking you're just farting in the customer's fucking face when you're when they're drunk as shit. Oh my god. Oh, he's pulling a boater for a child. Oh, and he's and he's drunk. Oh, this was like back in the day when I started doing like Instagram videos. Oh my god. This was cringe. Like I had the full video on my Instagram at the time. <laughs> Try and keep up. Oh whatever. Um I don't know, I'm like so good at Mario Kart. I'm not even joking. I'm really fucking good at Mario Kart. I've always been. I don't know why. I've always been that way for some time. Uh, Want to be a camper? I shall be a camper. Struggle to stay in first. I think a lot of these, I just deleted the videos and I just never got it back. But now I learned I can ar I'll just archive on YouTube. Probably the best way to really start is like to start uploading like all, all your streams in the past. If you're doing this on Twitch, of course. Upload them all to YouTube and just leave it there and see what happens. Scared. Oh, this is one with the fucking bear, right? Or some shit. Randomly disconnect. This is the one with the bear. Alright, let's see what we find here. 
Oh my god, there's a fucking bear that came out of the fucking cabinet. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is the one where the, um, I was streaming this game. I was streaming the Center of Kagura series. I'm like, all right, let's see if I can finish off so many little girls. Oh, I want to finish her Mortal Kombat style. Now she's like naked. Oh my fucking god. All right, let me exit out of this. Let's see. I have so... You know what's funny is... I'm, I, if I have to be honest, I do have, like, my most viewed clip on on this page. No, not... That one, see, I have 3,000 on that one. 100, 200, 100, 100. My most viewed clip, I think it has to be... Where is it? Uh, be my old time... Oh, yeah, this is OK. Yeah, this is the one I got in the most views on this on that platform. How do you do that? Literally four thousand six hundred and thirty nine likes, twenty two. I'm not bragging about it, but like this was my most viewed on TikTok. And yes, I do have the freaking um, the Xfinity car. Car, I still have it on my game. God damn it, man. Like, holy shit, we've actually beaten the time. Two, was it oh 210? 20962. Yeah, this was like just crazy. This was like probably one of my more crazier uh, fucking clips. I've actually earned that one. I didn't think I'd get so many fucking views for that um yeah some of these are just reactions and whatever uh me doing the bucket dance like an idiot do probably voice impressions uh from there to you know what's funny is i actually made a video oh uh, tiktok on just this that's crazy like literally, it was the whole fucking line of this was in the this was in uh see this see this was recorded in Final Fantasy fourteen Leviathan Servant Uba we were it was just a whole line of people um Kentar Mira for him it was just him and it was it, this I can't believe that was already a year ago that's crazy it's already been a year since he died just fucking kind of crazy I do have some like really small stuff like episodes and whatever I kind of stopped I don't know why. I think I, I kind of got bored. Um, after that, I was just announcing videos. Um, hell, I, I don't know why. I decided to even record. I even recorded this because this was just like back in the day where Mog Tomes of Lore was like a thing on Final Fantasy 14. And you just kept freaking, hey, hello, hello, Blueberry. How you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic rest of your lovely evening. How you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic time. Uh, today, tonight's today's stream is just mainly just a conversation over here. We're just talking about kind of just things um, that I have experienced and just kind of like reviewing old clips and what I have learned over the years and everything. So we'll just kind of recap on everything. But anyways, how you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic rest of your night, of course. Um, so yeah, this was like back in the day when like when before it was like before uh, I think it was, this was before Ed Walker. I'm pretty sure um, you just kept doing you just kept doing um, the freaking you kept doing the run over and over again as Blue Mage and you got the Mog Tomes doing good stuff and more stuff. Yeah, yeah, pretty much whatever, um, whatever. So that was kind of fun. Um, see, I got a couple more. These are more recent. These are like last year or something. And after that, like the last clip I made was the Hot Wheels one by everything after that was uploaded to everything was uploaded to hover. So everything now is over there. So I mean, have I, did I learn anything from doing this? Uh, yeah, pretty, I'm pretty sure I did. I've learned a lot from doing this. I mean, there are some stuff I could do better too. Like I could reach out to more of you guys more than anything, uh, post more stuff on Twitter uh retweet stuff or whatever um like like i said there's tons of things i, I could have learned there's ton there's tons that i can name right now 
you know? So, my kind of, like, point is, look, do you, are you guys happy of where I post now? Which, as I said, uh, Twitter, which I, which I post stuff on there for announcements and, you know, stuff that happens and record and whatever, all that fun jazz. And whatever post my videos post my archives on youtube and i do post all my clips on hover but i do my, my best one on twitter but the question is should i do all my clips on twitter like all the past one not all the past ones but all the um what's the word i'm looking for all like the clips that came by during that time of the stream and we could just and just add it to there and people can react to it because the question is i don't like to spam but I'll usually like to post maybe one really good clip, and that's it. But everything else is kind of... Eh, eh, that moment, you know? Um, so there's that, of course. Um, all right, why am I sitting on my own fucking charger for? Like a fat ass. Uh, which is hilarious. Oh, I, I, that was totally necessary. All right, well, I do have... I want to grab a snack. I don't know why. I, I had, like, something really small. I had some, like, frozen food earlier. Not frozen food, but I had some, like... I microwaved some frozen food. Like, those, um... It was, like, Stouffer things. There's a couple, like, Stouffer's, Boston Market. Um, the lady that did the pot pie. It was her brand, and I just grabbed all kinds of shit. I didn't grab, like, a bunch of it, but I just grabbed, like, maybe four boxes of it, and I ate two of them today. I try to stay away from, uh eating out so much since I'm kind of a fat ass. You know, whatever. So, no thanks, you know. And today's just chilling, like, we just want to, like, talk about whatever. Like, right now... There isn't too many people I want to check out. So right now, I can click on... I know, we can check out this person right now. Discord battle, ground up Pokemon. Is he in Tiny Woods? That's a really good question, if he's in Tiny Woods. What is he doing? Like, I know you're watching a stream within a stream. It's mad weird. Um, Blueberry, what do you mean, where is what? What do you mean? Alright, let me just open this tab right here. Close down this extra hover, because we don't need it. I just don't know what you mean by, like, where is it? I'm like, is it... You might have to tell me what I said, because I, I do say a lot of things. I do speak like a crazy person. Wow, though. All right, let me put a. Yeah, I don't. We're not. I'm not. I don't do that drugs. No thanks. I like being clean with a soul. You know. I like doing that shit. What is he doing? Is he in the missions? Oh, he's probably doing missions. No, drugs are not good. All right, what is this game? I heard I heard of this game through like the J, um the JRPG community. Like, I want to know what this game is all about. I mean, is this like a JRPG, like a? Is this like a JRPG or is this like an action RPG? That's a really good question. Like, I kind of wonder what the hell is going on. I mean, you got this fucking mustache guy. He's like. Fahats. Is that is it? Is he named his character that or some shit? That'd be kind of hilarious if he did. Um. Ooh, Final Fantasy VI. Let me check it out. 
Wait. Wait, is he playing the game or is he? Actually, no, this might be um, this might be a cameo. No, it's all the kids. This might be all the kids or something, probably. I have no idea. Could be a lot of things, so. Um. Oh, no, no, it's not. Okay, it's not. I thought it was like one of those like weird cameo things where, uh, uh, you do a, um, <clears throat> it's like one of, I don't know, it's like one of those hack things that you can change your character for or whatever. No. I'll go for Mo. Oh, there's my girl Celeste. Gal, there's Moogle, there's Locke, there's Cyan, Edgar, um, Sebit, Sabin, Setzer, Terra, Realm, and, um, I forget the grandfather's name is. So that's what it asks, like Strigo or something like that. I don't think they finished the game. No, I think this is actually the end. I don't think it is. <clears throat> oh, someone's got a fucking ass. <clears throat> I don't know new music in here. All right, uh, let me try a different game. James Lee. I don't know who the fuck this is. Final Fantasy Marathon streaming every weekday at 9 p. Oh, my God. <laughs> How much fucking money that is? <clears throat> Final Fantasy 1, Final Fantasy 2. Final Fantasy 3, Final Fantasy 4, um, Final Fantasy 4, After Years, <clears throat> Final Fantasy 5, Final Fantasy 6, he's on, 7, 8, 9, 10, is he doing 10 too? Uh, Final Fantasy, oh yeah, it's 12, right? There's 12. 12, I don't know, 12 is kind of weird. Um, Final Fantasy 13. Uh, we got 15. You got Strangers of Paradise and Crisis Core. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't even know if Crisis Core is any good. But I've never played it. I know it's supposed to be like this, the story behind Zack. The... Um, I think it was like the person that he that that's how he got the that cloud got the buster sword it was from him it was like Eris like first boyfriend or something like that and he went to war and died or some shit like that yeah what not to do when like you want to destroy my face yeah pretty much like everything I mean do you want to destroy my fucking face? Because we can do it a ton of ways. I mean, like I said, we can do that. Like... Like, my face will get destroyed within every five minutes. See, I don't know what it is. See, I don't know what it is for oh, oh, everybody else says Final Fantasy VI is not a great game. So, here's my question. <clears throat> I want to ask these people these questions. So, I have played Final Fantasy One, fantastic piece. I know it's annoying. I know it's the first ones, whatever. Two was fucking weird because you had this like leveling system that you got hit or some shit, and then you kept getting experience. Your weapon thing or whatever, which was kind of weird. Three was awful because a cloud of darkness was awful. 
wanted to fucking cry for an hour. Happy. Hey, hello, mom's mom's basement game. How you doing? Uh, how you doing? How welcome, welcome. We're just kind of just talking. Uh... Oh, my boy Rimvel is in here. I didn't even know that. Okay. No, he's in the chat. I'm just kind of just we're kind of just talking about, I guess, maybe whatever uh, my experiences through um, throughout doing this, of course. Um, my three years was supposed to be in March, but we didn't get to celebrate it because I had a lot of stuff going on in the background, uh, behind the scenes. So we weren't able to celebrate it. So I figured I should celebrate it today. So, which will be awesome. So I want to shout out a few artists here that have helped me over the journey. Uh, I did a, uh, climb a crane while on drugs and while drunk at the same time with no safety equipment. Yeah, you would basically die. Okay. You're climbing on it, and you're, you're, you're like this. You're falling off the damn crane. <clears throat> damn, Blueberry. So, so I, like I said, I have a few people. Like I said, I've had art stuff made over time. And like I said, it was a fantastic moment. I've had, I, I swear to God, I, I hate to say this. Let me just kind of uh, get myself out of the situation. Um... <clears throat> I've had like I've had I remember when I first started uh, doing this, I was looking for overlays. Uh, oh, my God, you're crazy. You want to try that? Yeah. Until like your two girlfriends realize, oh, shit, you're on drugs. Let's get her out of that shit or she dies. Whatever. So. Anyways, like I was saying, it, it was just like I was saying. Um, so when I first started, I didn't have overlays. So at the time, I didn't want to pay for it. But at the time, I tried to figure out some way to compensate instead of money. So there was an artist on Final Fantasy XIV at the time. Um, it was like, I think it was like a him or her. I don't know what it is. I don't know if they're trans. I wasn't sure. I don't really care at this point. Um, and it was like her, it was like his or her girlfriend. And I remember at the time, I'm like, hey, I'm looking for like overlays an overlay and maybe like some art maybe some like panels at the time and i said hey if you want an exchange i'll upfront pay i'll upfront do crafting for you and final phase 14 you know and we did that uh oh they will not know about my client playing a crime about drunk being trucked up you're definitely gonna ask yourself to get yourself killed that is for sure um so as i was saying she was um you were like skeptical about it at first but i kind of like you know what we'll we'll do it like this so okay well i'll do this first i'll get you guys to 50 and i'll teach you guys how to like level that way and kind of like use your whatever i'll teach everybody to do it or whatever at the time this was during like uh the third expansion stormblood i believe something like that um and well i did did the deed i did do the deed and at the same time um, I got my overlay. I got everything, uh, which was fantastic. It, so I got everything kind of started. Now, the problem was, um, well, if I fall off, I fall off. Yeah, then you what you never mind. <laughs> You're just messing with me. I, I know people love to mess with me. It's hilarious. So I'm like, I mean, you would not do drugs. <laughs> You would not want to, like, end your life, okay? Like, you would not want to do that. But anyways, like I was saying earlier... Yeah, this fucking cap is so hard to open. Ooh, that's why it's fizzing a little bit. Um... I do drugs. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Come on. Yeah, what? Medication? But anyways, I'm joking. Um... So that was kind of it was just like an exchange thing and it was cool and all, but I couldn't do it all the time, but I had to pay somebody at mo at one point. And I still like appreciate I still appreciate them. I do have their um, I have like I don't have their I don't have like any information for them, like with their artwork and everything. And I tried asking them, but they never answered me. Um, <clears throat> crane tomorrow. Um, but Another thing that I was saying earlier. And like I said, we did this for a while. It was my old overlay. Oh, my God. It was awful. 
whatever. But now we got this, but um, I'm having my artist, but I, don't, I hope she didn't forget. I'll have her put her name on the overlay that she made, that she made the overlay. So I figured that might be fucking dope as shit. Kind of put their name out there. Um, so real quick, um, let me just do the artist command because I don't remember what I typed in for it. So give me one second. Um, so Mezu was the one that made this. So I have a shot of a few people. So Mezu artist, Mezu art. She's made my overlay. She made a bunch of stuff. Intermission is going to be character themed, a bunch of stuff. There's going to be a bunch of new stuff. I have to change the text for it, but there's all kinds of stuff she's made for me over the years. Uh, Mezu, uh, revanch, uh, was another person that, um, has made stuff for me over, like, I, not over the years, but like definitely she's made my profile picture. Uh, she made the new starting stream. So, which was kind of fascinating. Uh, re so she's on Etsy, of course, stream screens, a new profile picture. Once we get the new stream screens, we'll be fine. And maybe I'll slip up and plunge to my death. Oh, my God. Well, if you die, then there's no story for you then. Um, so thanks to her. Um, I mentioned a few people. Um, I have a way I, I've asked, of course, for emotes at the time. Yesical made my um, banner. Uh, she's on Etsy, so. Um, unfortunately, uh, let's see, Etsy. I'm pretty sure the link still works. Okay, yeah. Yeah, she does. Uh, what's this? What is this banner? What is this all about? Okay, no, you just add an item to the shop. Okay, that's it. Okay. Um, so, there's that, of course. Uh, let me just keep looking around for a second. Uh, oops. Uh, what's not? I don't want to hit reply. Damn it, game. I don't want to fucking reply. Um, let me just keep looking. Revenge. See, now, the one I... I tell you, I woke up and I started wondering a bunch of things. Yeah, a bunch of like, uh, well, where are my two girlfriends at? Where do they go? I want to do the tie your shoes moment. I want to do a bunch of zeros with them. But anyways, besides the weird jokes, um, the one that kind of just gets me, I, I have her website for this, but I have to like talk to her, see if she wants to be updated. She has me like, um, She's made um, mostly a bunch of my new emotes. Uh, but I think she stopped making stuff, I think, a while back. Yeah, I don't know why. I kind of wonder, because I did buy stuff from her a while back, but I just made emotes and stuff. So, a bunch of stuff she made for me, so it was pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I don't know where they are. Jesus. <laughs> Just do a bunch of zeros. There's no one. Okay, there's no one in there. There's always all zeros. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Um. But yeah. Freaking. Just the memories of everything. It's it's crazy. Hello. Hello, Bunny Boo. How you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic rest of your night, of course. I know it must be. Uh, if you're 12 hours ahead of me, it must be uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. You probably just woke up or either that or I must have woke you up for no reason, but I'm just joking. Probably a bunch of whatever. Anyways, how you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic rest of your day, uh, whatever day you're on. How you doing? Uh, we're kind of uh, right now, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is a third year. <laughs> Everything is zero like life is a zero. Oh, don't be so negative, Blueberry. <laughs> you got girlfriends, OK? You guys are all. You know, if you guys are all, if, if you know, gender have binary numbers, men will be ones and you guys, girls will be zeros and you guys are all a bunch of zeros making out with each other all zeros. You know, it's be like a triple digit zero. Just for a fun time, you know? But anyways, like I was saying, um, which I found uh, kind of crazy, if you ask me, I'm actually back in the US now. Oh, um, you're back in the U.S. 
Are you just visiting? Maybe? maybe I'm thinking you're probably visiting family or something. Maybe like aunts, uncles or something like that. I don't know. I think it, you're going to stay in your in the country you're in. You're staying there, you know, for the time being or oh, whatever. You know, what's funny is um, I was reading something. I wasn't I think I was watching something a while back. Um, so if you go to Switzerland or something and you're from America and you try to open an account, they will let you open an account because you're from America. If you're from America. Or. I don't know how the process works. It's like some sort of treaty. Which I'm like, that's kind of fucking weird. Like, honestly. Like, then how are you supposed to store your money? Um, well, anyways, I don't want to talk about your purse. Uh, I don't want to go too personal with you, Bunny. So, I'm back home in Florida. Staying for good now. Ah, okay. Yeah, um... But anyways, as long as you're happy, that's what matters to that's what really matters to me. Yeah, let me go back to webcam because probably seeing this is probably annoying. So let me just uh, get out of this. Hold on. Uh, nope. Uh, webcam, where are you? There you are. Until I get my just chatting. Oh, yeah, you're super happy. Yeah, yeah. See, that was the fun part is... Um, it must have been like a process for you that you had to like go back to the United. You went, you went to the, you went the country you were in. You had to stay there for a while, or meet your girlfriend or whatever, you know. And then I don't know, like I said, I don't know what happened after that. You guys had to work. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! You bring your girlfriend home. That's awesome. That's I'm very happy for you. I'm very very happy. I don't know what it is, but the United States is rough over here, especially now. Like, the like, there's still some, there's still some shit right now. Oh, did, oh, okay, I didn't know that. See, I didn't know either. I don't know anything, so drive me crazy. That's awesome. I'm very happy for you guys. I am. I'm very happy for you guys. I mean, unfortunately for me, um, I could go IRL for a second. Um, a lot of my family. And friends, well, a lot of my friends are not really friends. They're just more of I have more friends online than I have friends in in like a, like in low in my local area. Not even joking. Like, it's sad, but like, I'm not even joking. But I, I make friends online way more like everybody I know, not everybody I know, but like most people I talk to is from a different state than where I am. Like totally like definitely down south or down west that way i'm just a weird guy i'm the only weird guy that is from my own the only state i'm from it's like weird i don't know how to explain it it's it's you know whatever you know it's crazy um so freaking uh what was i gonna say i was gonna do um <laughs> what i gonna say like, I would, like, honestly, if I had goals, too, like, for you guys, is I would love to do Jackbox games again. I know I had to cancel it because of reasons. I said, well, we don't have enough people coming in, so here's the reason. If we have more people and they want to do it, then I would gladly do it. But the thing is, I want people, I want to be able to have all you guys, not everybody, but like most people come in here and then we can all play the game. It's way more people than just, you know, back in the past. I know it was fun with like two or three people, but it would be more, even more fun. It was like six and then it became like the audience and everything. That shit would be way more fun, but I want to give it time because right now I want to build. Not build like a, I want to, I guess, do more. And I guess I think maybe like I don't I don't blame you guys. You guys like you playing the same game for like two or three weeks or some shit. And I had to like I literally had no choice. I was just I I, I was almost done with it. <laughs> I was just like shit. We just finished it last night, so which was awesome. And today is just a bonus, so you guys can talk about shit or whatever. Um, that's what that's what I personally want to do. But like I said, another issue is um, 
like I, I and I said another issue is I'm 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 not a weird owl, but freaking I I feel like one of my weaknesses of doing this, doing what we're doing now, is I'm not checking out other people. And I, I guess I check out one of my like I have like a couple of people I check out from every once in a while because they do come by. So I end up having to um, just do it that way, uh, which is sad. I think it's just like I notice like not a lot of people have the same interests as I do. So. Um, which, like I said, that <laughs> makes me sad, um, you know. But end of story, uh, but and not end of story, but at the end. Um. freaking uh i could say i could say a bunch more why is my quality like fucking dropping like a motherfucker like my quality just drops like the quality of the, the stream just went from like crap to shit all right well anyways that's just kind of me though in my opinion um like i said we'll see though because if you guys, like I said, um, anybody, anybody who's watching this right now, I have a question. If you guys want to share this, share the stream, uh, whatever. I love for people to come by and we can have a conversation. Or whatever. I'm not asking for subs or anything. What I'm asking for is just sh share this. Like, share this with all your friends and family, whatever, who, who actually is prefer. Well, mainly, I don't really care, but I prefer if you're interested in gaming and stuff and we can talk about just because like, I, I have like a very small, um, I don't know. I have like a very, it's not a very small thing, but I, I like a lot of stuff, but it's very small. It's like a very small amount of community people. So it'd be like, okay, well, I like JRPGs, but then like, well, I'm not really into that, but I would play like some Call of Duty or something every once in a while. Which I might end up kind of come back to do that again or play Fortnite, but honestly, well, somebody I know would stream Fortnite and they would get, I think they've gotten, I think, I think the stream would be muted or something like that or copyrighted or some crap while they're playing that. And it would just, you know, not go off, but it would be, uh, it just wouldn't flag it because of a couple of emotes or something like that, which is kind of fucking stupid. So I'm like, I'm not going to bother. And what's funny is I've been playing with, I played poor night with actually somebody, um, past couple weeks and I've, and I've gotten a Naruto skin, which I don't really care. I'm like, yeah, it's a Naruto skin. Who the fuck cares? Um, I'm having a fucking blast with that. Whatever that nerd shit. It's great. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, you know, but, I, I, it's like I don't really play with you guys and you guys just watch and I, I know how I'm not saying that's not how like things work or whatever and I understand of what needs to be done but also another thing which is which I've mentioned I honestly feel like st I, I really want is honestly I was thinking about for a while on on, t on TikTok uh to do karaoke and the problem is i can't upload it to here because it's copyrighted or youtube either so it has to stay on tiktok as an exclusive thing because that's just karaoke you know whatever but i would love to do this on twitch again but the, again the other problem is copyrights the copyright the copyright the copyright and the copyright you know which i find crazy um but but anyways besides and besides even the point um but anyways uh let me see what we could talk about here um i could talk about maybe past ex-girlfriends which i could but i'm not gonna bother because I'm not going to leave anybody's name out there. I might use like a um, a code name for it or whatever. So. 
It's just that, um... I'm trying to like, find the words for it. I, I, I sound like a fucking crazy mother... Like, crazy person, if you ask me. Um, but... Like, I don't really care for it, you know? I don't, I don't really give a damn about just, you know... I'm not gonna tarnish somebody's name for no reason, you know? I don't need to do that. So, most people, what most content creators would normally do is they would use like abbreviation either abbreviation or like a letter or like a code name or well code name is probably the best wording i could really put it in if you get what i'm saying it's it's not um it's not easy but like i said like like so for example if i want to talk about something at my job i have to use abbreviations so like okay i would say like in chronicle order like I would say like the manager has been there the longest and I'll just go from like A, B and C. And then there's D, of course, but whatever, if you get what I mean, like, or the letter or I can do, oh, this is uh, gritty, gritty. This is uh, meatball. This is uh, baby face. And then you got like Chuck Norris. I, like, like I can go with these abbreviations all I want that's and then that's what and that's what most people do is like that's how they're like yeah i don't want to like my name to you avoid and revealed or whatever because the internet yeah i just didn't i'll just hide it you know i don't really give a fucking shit at this point you know um so that's why as well um so there's that of course like i said there's so many people like you can check out like other content creators it's just like what you you gotta find like a pref like a lot of people have preferences of what they want to watch which is fine but what a stream should be about is you watch the person you're not the gameplay is there just for show but you're only watching it for the person you're not watching this you're not watching a game like whatever game you want to watch it's the person that matters not the game itself like if the person's fucking boring Yo, Christian Bale out of there. I don't, I don't, it, th and that's, and that, and that's true for everybody. Like, they were Christian Bale. That's how it is, you know? Um, so there's that, of course. Uh, there's, um, uh, freaking, like, you watch somebody for who, for who they are, and it just, it, like I said, it just depends. Like I message, like I would message people and be like, oh, hey, um, you know, s this shit happens or whatever, you know. <sighs> like right now, like I'm looking at the Crunchyroll store <laughs> just to kind of fuck around. And. A lot of Monster Hunter does high IQ. If you attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, Bananya, Armin is Fire Force. I've watched Fire Force. It's really good. Like a lot of these animes are really good to watch. Um, L is Beppo. Oh, <laughs> Beppo. We haven't seen Beppo too much. We've seen him in Wano, but we haven't seen him around too much. Genshin Impact. Jesus Christ. I can't believe Genshin Impact's on here. Uh, Chizuru's on here. Uh, Nezuko Pillow. Jesus, what the? My Romantic. Oh, yeah, I remember that. My Romantic Comedy's a waifu. That one's a really good one. Oh, uh, Fat Gum Pillow. Jesus, who the hell wants to buy a Fat Gum Pillow? Like... Oh, the Blind Box. Monster Hunter. See, I don't even like Monster Hunter. I don't really, I don't really, to be honest, I really don't care for Monster Hunter. But like some people are like, you're out of your mind. Monster Hunter Rise is so good. Blah 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 blah. I'm like, I don't really care. But okay. Yeah, Chopper, Joker. I love how, like, they call him the protagonist. They don't even call... He doesn't even have a name. He's just the protagonist. Like, Phantom Thief, the Zoro. I would probably get a Zoro one. 
Zoro is just such a Zoro is such a good character. Like he has developed like into such a good character for One Piece. Like I don't know why like people like I don't even mind like some of these plushes. I I, I wouldn't really mind. Sold out pre order. Oh, it's near rep. Yeah, near Ma. That's why. Um. Oh, Ram wearing um, Subaru's uh, outfit or something like that. Oh, Data Live. Oh my God. I've actually watched a lot. Uh, I've been watching Data Live like every every episode now. I finished watching up to season three. We're on season four now. I mean, it's, a ha it's another harem, but like whatever, you know, it's it's not even that bad. It's whatever. But uh, if I have like any, well, let me talk about I'll talk about goals for a second. Which I'll do. So if I had a goal in mind, which is something that bothers me to a, an extent. So one of one of the goals that I would like to hit is get at least maybe I don't know how to like get out of control, but like wait until get a lot of my screens set up almost in a similar fashion. Um, Maybe with I want to at least get enough people to demand that they want a merch store. Then we can make merch and whatnot. I can definitely get something made and make it merch. Which will be awesome. Okay, this is kind of an. I don't like your. Um, I don't like. I don't like his outfit. I don't personally, but <laughs> free U.S. shipping at fifty dollars or more. Oh, it's freaking uh, dragon maid. But yeah, um, but. As I said, it's a major pain in the ass. Like, like another goal I want to do is also I want to keep do more talking. Keep doing that more and more every fucking day. Or oh, whatever, you know. Do more talking, do more like stuff, do more stuff with you guys, do way more shit, you know, and talk about gaming, do podcasting. And hell, if I have to go back on TikTok to do more of that stuff and then to bring people here, that'll be a fantastic fucking time. You know? Because I have met so many different people over the years, over the fucking years, that um, I, I, like, I remember um, there was somebody that started the group. And so we got about like 30, I, I want to say 40 to 50 people at a time or something like that but the problem was the views would be like maybe like 9 to 10 but there's a lot of people that do work and they do stop by but they can't stick around so we're helping like so the problem was we're boost I guess you can call it we were boosting each other if that makes sense so everybody got affiliate or whatever but oh that's what really the entire point was doing affiliate but then we'll just keep watching each other or whatever <laughs> So everybody had the same fucking viewers and all that stuff. And I got, I think I got my, I started back in like November of 2017. And then we started, then I started, I got affiliated to 2018. So this is going to be my fourth anniversary in general, but being affiliated is my third anniversary, which is why we're celebrating our third anniversary more. For more of that. So there's that, of course. Um, but, you know, I think at the time, uh, we were, um, I'm trying to think, like, we were, like, doing other things, of course. <laughs> so, but the thing was, li down the line, there were, um, we were, I'm trying to think, like, how to word it. We finished, um, it just... The group was done, like, the, the group couldn't really do anything about it. 
which was terrible, which we fucking hated. So we ended up just having to leave. So he left. Um, and I left the group, of course, because the group was fucking dead at this point. So I joined another one. It was by somebody else, which was kind of weird. But the thing was, the group was doing great until somebody left. That I guess the leader left or something on Discord. Then somebody else took over and then the whole fucking... So it was like almost two or three years at this point. And nothing was happening. So finally, I left. I finally left. And whatever. Not an issue. It's just that, like I like I mentioned before, um, I might have just, just go on Facebook just having that discussion. I'm like, has anybody feel like there's nobody they talk to anymore? Actually, uh, let me be right back. And let me just change laundry real quick. So let me... Give me one second. Let me be right back real quick. So let me be right back.
<clears throat> Alrighty, we're back. Sorry about that. I had to run some laundry real quick. I almost forgot all about it. So, it's not even in, you know, it was just a goal that I wanted to work on. I've wanted to do it for some time. And like I said, if you guys really enjoy like the content that I'm just talking and talking and all and about or whatever, you guys are more than welcome to like join here. I was welcome to join here and we can have conversations. I can talk about anime. I can talk about um Oh my god, they have a ham Hamtaro Necroid. That's dope as shit. Um 3D mug. Like it's kind of I think it it takes like a week to ship here. The crunch roll stuff. It takes a while for it to get here. So there's that, of course. Um, yeah, this is even one. Like I said, I, I, I want people. So the whole goal of this channel and what I want to do is it's not just a therapy thing. I want you guys to be able to express yourselves like in a way I understand and you know how that's how people are. That's how people are built. We everybody is different. We all know that we all know this. OK. You know, and whatever happens, happens, you know, and and that's just part of and that's just part of being a creator, you know? Do we gotta do? Um Even I was saying, I'm a little like Well, let's go back to a couple of topics I do like to talk about. So as I said before, um everybody knows this. Nintendo 3DS shop and the Wii U shops are going to fail, are going to be shut down. They're going to start by taking away, you can fund it by credit card, and then it's going to be cards is like very, very last, like towards the end of the month. Which sucks for me, because, like I said, there's a lot of 3DS games that are very good in the... Like I said, I've, I've already showed this before. So, this is what I bought. So, I got the... The, the Pokemon Dream Radar. Let me just uh, do this backwards. Hold on. I got Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Yellow. I got Pokemon Silver, Pokemon Gold, and Pokemon Crystal. That is why I have right now, like, in the 3DS shop. Because that was one of the issues, was if you're shutting down the 3DS shop, there's no way you're able to play certain games like certain like exclusives on the 3ds shop you can't get the games anywhere else and you're now shutting it down so that was becoming an issue so there are series like i've like i have on my 3ds this 3ds in particular it came with mario kart 7 on there it came with it which was awesome for me because that was just i mean who the hell who the hell doesn't like fucking mario kart anyways who doesn't like mario kart um but yeah, as I was saying earlier, it was just it's just now to a point where um, you got to like, like I said, you got to like, you know, so like I said, I have tons of games up here, which I will show you guys right now. So give me one second. Let me just uh, kind of just. There you go. Hold on. So I have a stack of 3DS games. Just chilling here. Just chilling here. Just chilling here. Like physical copies, whatever. And this is what I have. So, the first game I have in front of me, which sucks, and I never got to play this yet, but this game looks so fire. This little game looks really good. I never got to play it. Um, so, I have Persona Q, um, Shadow of the Labyrinth. I think this is supposed to be like a JRPG. It's another Persona game. 
and then you also have and then i have the second game uh persona 4q new cinema labyrinth which is the same thing but it looks like it's just persona 5 4 and 3 into one or whatever which is going to be interesting so i like to see uh where this goes so there's there's those games of course uh which i'll put it down here so i i just bought this recently uh tales of the La tales of labyrinth well the labyrinth the abyss another tales game of course and i have grace's f on my playstation 3 i have symphonia the first and second game on the PlayStation 3 i got zanestria i have vesperia remastered I, I got all kinds of other games so this is, i also have the original bravely default i have the second game i heard it's really good i heard really good things about it uh bravely second layer which i think this is another bravely default game it's another one i believe uh i got all the pokemon games so pokemon sun and moon oh well ultra sun and moon regular sun and moon alpha sapphire we got x i got y super mystery dungeon um i have i have mystery dungeon i have gates to infinity i got the Star Fox game because it was at the time at the time oh my god this thing's fucking dirty holy fuck um at the time when i bought the game i bought the game um well i bought this game because there was a deal i could get on a final Fantasy 14 like mount and part of it oh i was like what? i was missing one more game and i was looking for where it was oh and i also have omega ruby so those are the games i have uh whatever no big deal so i'm gonna have to organize this actually i might organize this now say fuck it so omega ruby alpha sapphire I got X and Y. Um, I'll do, yeah, Sun and Moon. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it kind of... No, that would be kind of stupid if I did it backwards. So, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. X and Y. Uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Uh, I have Super Mystery Dungeon, Gates to Infinity. As I said, uh, Smash Bros. Could be over here. The Star Fox game. Default. Tales of the Abyss. You know what's funny is they changed the game art like over the past couple of years with the 3DS. So like it went from like just a really cool design on like the game covers into like very, very basic uh three like very, very basic uh 3ds um you know design which is kind of weird you know like with the game cases which i find kind of boring honestly uh which like i said i have tons and tons of games for it which was cool and all but like i said um all right so my next pile is the ds games so, I have tons of DS games. Even on here, even on here, like I have, I have a, I have a couple of regular DS games. Uh, some I bought back recently because the game is just so fucking legendary. So first, our first victim. Anybody remember this? Diddy Kong Racing DS. Everybody remembers the original version, but the DS version was like. The same game, except you build your own track. And then you do the same adventure mode as the original, as usual, whatever. Uh, I got this a while back. I got this recently, Mario Kart DS. Um, this was a fucking pain in the ass to find, okay? This game was fucking amazing. And it had fucking Square Enix on here. So there were Square Enix characters in this game. Okay, you had Cactuar. You had freaking... Moogle, White Mage, Black Mage, and Ninja. All five and their stage was Marlboro Gardens. Um, okay, well, 
this game has multiple because I cannot find uh, my diamond. I can't find my platinum case or anything. So I have Pokemon, I have Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum on here. I got Pokemon White, Pokemon Black. Um, I have I have Black One and Black Two, White Two and White One. Uh, Soul Silver, which I saw this, I I see these all the time, and they're fucking almost two hundred dollars, two fifty. I'm like, what? Heart Gold, same fucking problem, almost fucking two hundred dollars. I have Explores the Sky, which was. This is a fuck. This is like one of the best games in like the entire like not rip off series, but like out of all, out of pretty much every single spinoff of Pokemon games, uh, Pokemon Coliseum to X XD and Explorers of Sky are the best fucking games I've ever fucking played. The story's fucking amazing. Give this game a fucking shot, please. I don't even care if you get this game fucking emulated. Just fucking play it. It's fantastic. The story for is awesome. Uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles The Echoes of Time uh, Never play this but I figure I get a Final Fantasy game Say so fuck it uh, But I also have Explorers of Darkness Which I have Explorers of Time I bought it Time first <sighs> Whatever I wish I would have saved my game cartridges honestly That was Like I said that was a fantastic time uh, To play these games So Let's see, let's do, uh, let's do put my card down here, uh, for right now. I have, I'll keep Diddy Kong up here, because I'm going to be using Diddy Kong, uh, for a little bit. So, Mario Hoops can stay down here. I, I don't really mind my I, Mario Hoops 3 on 3, I found a little bit weird to play. The reason I used to find it weird to play is because, well, I'm not used to this. I don't know how I did as a kid when I did with a stylus. It was super fucking awkward, for one. Um, so... I just end up doing, like... I said, fuck it. I'll, uh... I'll do like this. So, I have all the Pokemon games. I have a bunch of it. So now I can actually use, like, now, because I have two 3DSs, I have one... Both accounts on two different ones, of course. Um, I'm this is gonna be my main 3DS that I'm gonna play on whatever the new model of the of the 3ds because my other one's the older one or whatever so that's gonna be fantastic it's gonna be fun and i love it it's gonna be just like making out with 600 dudes at one i'm just i'm just joking i would not make out with 600 dudes at once but yeah that'll be fantastic um let's see here um not really much i can really go with here honestly um Let's see here. Um, not really too much going on right now. <laughs> oh my fucking god! They have fucking Sailor Moon and they have Sailor Moon outfit here. The Gundam. What is this Gundam T-shirt? Amaro. What's the? Oh, it's Amaro's Gundam. That's why. <laughs> I watched most of the Gundam shows. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mobile Suit Gundam. I've watched the original. That was a really good... That wasn't... It was boring, but it wasn't... Like, I'm like, yeah, it's... You know, whatever. It was exclusive. Whatever. I don't even care. <laughs> What's funny is, too, is, like, I, I, I'm, I'm a little personal for a second. Like, I, like, I have a little brother. He's, like, almost... He's gonna be... He, he, just, he just turned eight, like, a couple days ago. <laughs> So the thing was, is I don't know what he likes because he has a switch, whatever. I'm like, well, I probably have an idea of what I could get him, but I have to be there to get it, I guess, which makes sense. Um, but it's quite a fucking annoying. Um, so there's that. Um, let's see here in stock. The fuck's in stock anyways. See, I wouldn't get like. What is this show? Sakanara. Um, is this wait? Can I watch this? Sorry, I'm looking at um, 
some of this like merch. What is this? Uh, no, take me home. Let's see here. Uh, S A N K. No, I can't. I what? Is this Funimation? Yeah, that's why it's a Funimation thing. Can't watch it. Okay. Um, S A N K. A R E A. Sakanera. Zombie obsessed uh, Furia is making a potion to reanimate his dead cat when he meets Rhea. She's about as miserable as a girl can get. Thanks to her creepy, domineering father. When the pain becomes too much, she tries to commit suicide with a sip of Furia's weird elixir. The potion's a killer, but it does turn to a zombie. What? The fuck? Comedy, fan service, romance. Okay, that's kind of boring. Okay. That's... Okay, that's boring, but... <clears throat> I really don't care. At this point. Um... Nothing crazy. Uh, Katana Maidens. What the hell? Katana Maidens? What, what is this? What is this? Some of these, like, merchandise that I'm finding here is super awkward as fuck. Um, I'm going to read this because it's hilarious. Tasked with protecting the world from the, from the Aradama are the sword-wielding Shrine Maidens. When it's time for the national competition, Konami Ito is determined to win. Uh, but when she faces Hero jo uh, Hero Jujo in the finals, Hiori doesn't attack her, but goes after the head of the Origami family. So the Konami's helping Hiori escape the learns of the Origami's big secret. Includes two R cards. Action. Oh, it's both. Uh, uh, oh, it's part one. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. All right, question is, can I watch it on here? Yes, I can. So why get the DVD when I could just watch it here? Katata Maidens. Tom what does it say? Tombiyoshi? Is that part one? Or is that part two? Oh, wait a minute. It's more... Okay, this is probably the one I was looking for. Whatever this is. <laughs> Whatever this is. It's so awkward as fuck, man. <laughs> I just want to know. Anyways. Let me just keep looking. What is this? What is this mini thing? Is this supposed to be like one? Is this like like one of those Attack on Titan like the school thing? It's like a not a non-violent version of that or something. I don't know. All right, let's see. Katata Maidens. Okay, so it's both. Some of these are just fun. I don't know why. Like, just make it available. Come on, come on, guys. Make all this anime available off the, not the, off the get-go, but Boogie, was it Boogie Pop and others, the complete series digital? Let me guess. Funimation. Oh, no. It's Crunchyroll 2. Drama psych, uh, psychological horror. Okay, well... That's really not that bad. Okay. That's not too bad. Um, let's see. Freezing season two. Lucky star. Oh, I, I okay. I've seen what this is. I want to look this up. Kid, like, suppose a kid from last Don Jibuni is from starting town. <laughs> okay, well, is this Funimation? Yep, only Funimation. Dude, Funimation's got some of the weird ass shit. Some of it is just weird. <laughs> like, Yu Hakusho was definitely, like, I know it was. Like, some of these you can't watch anywhere else. Yeah, Assassin's Classroom I can watch. Eden of the East. 
Guilty Crown. Oh, the Tales of Vesperia movie. Oh, this would be kind of cool to watch. The first strike. <laughs> oh, man, I'll be a good Tales movie to watch. I have, um, I think there's an Estrion here, I think. Or something like that. I know it's there. Oh, there's the, the weird save thing. Ah, I, oh, I can't, that's right. I got in the same uh, bundle when I bought the Uritoromo one from Amazon. It was probably the same thing. Chaos Child. Attack on Titan Complete Season 3. Uh... Broly or whatever. See, I wouldn't see. I don't really care about a lot of these. Um. Oh, the movie. Okay, maybe the movie I would get because you can't get the movie anywhere else. Hundred. Can I watch this? Hold on. They don't even look familiar. It's like sci-fi, but it's not. Um, okay, well, it's not really telling us much. The Devil's a Part-Timer. That's such a good one. You guys need to watch that. The Devil's a Part-Timer is such a good one. Violet Evergarden. Prison School. Jesus Christ. Gonna be Twin Tail, How to Not Summon. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching the second season right now for it. Space Dandy. I've heard of this, Space Dandy. It said it was like, what does it say? Uh, greatest Galactic Government to ever hit Toonami. What is this, a harem? Action Adventure com uh, Comedy. Oh, this is a fucking classic. Oh, let me see if it's on here. I'll think about it. Once I, uh... Space. Oops. Hold on. Oh, we can watch it! Yes! The fucking classic, man. We can actually watch a classic anime. Fucking God. Release date. Funimation made this. That's why. Toonami. I'm like, you guys talk about Toonami now and I'm, uh, you're trying to get me interested. <laughs> All right, hold on, let me check. Nope. Just want to make sure I didn't miss any of you guys on chat. Uh, Free. Yu Hakusho Season 2. Space Dandy Season 2. Um, One Piece Collection 26. Nice of Sidonia. Jinto Juji Ito. What is this? Hold on. Junji. Junji. There we go. What is this? I've seen this anime. It's, it's like, it's like dark or something. Okay, hold on. I'm I'm just kind of curious because I'm not really sure. The boy and the beast is God's will. First love monster. Yeah, these are kind of boring. <laughs> Izoka wants to hang out. I've heard of that one. Strong world movie. Tales of Vesperia, the movie. I would watch that if I played the game. <laughs> yeah, but the devil part timer is getting a part like a new season for it, so I'm not going to bother. Fruit baskets. <clears throat> uh, Bow the gods. 
Black Lagoon. I gotta watch some of some of these. I really need to fucking watch. <laughs> Doctor Stone. I didn't even watch Doctor Stone. Okay, I've watched. Um... Okay, I have watched Tower of God. That wasn't bad. It was okay, I guess. Uh, freezing. Valkyrie Drive. Which looks like Funimation only. A lot of these are like Funimation only, which is kind of whatever. I don't really care. War on Geminar. Film Z. Yeah, well, I don't care about that. The Future Diary. Oh my god. Don't get me started. Black Butler, the movie. Samurai 7, Okan Okana, which I know what that is. I know I watched Okana. It was okay. It's like one of those weird ones. Dies A-Ray. I have that on cue, but I haven't started watching it yet. Tokyo Cool, the movie. Can I receive? Good Librarian. Hana Hanabato. I could achieve. What the fuck? Some of these are weird ass names. Black Blood Brothers. If they have um Trigun, I probably would get it because I don't know where you watch Trigun. Bow through the frontier. Want to be the strongest in the world? Jesus, they have the save thing. Uh, let's see, Tokyo Ghoul. Three, part one. Oh, convenience store friends. I, I've watched this one. This one's cute. Something about a fairy tale he reads or something, and I, I, I don't remember the rest of it. Dan Garoppa, the animation. That one was kind of weird. Um, Seven Mortal Sins. Uh, Ghost and Shell Arise, Black Lagoon, Time Reincarnated, Psycho Pass Season 2. I watched Psycho Pass. Well, I played the game first. It was okay. I didn't really care for it. It was like a, like a sci-fi detective thing. Twin Star Exorcist, which I stopped watching because I got bored. Like, there's just two people just fucking fighting all the time. Like, Jesus Christ. Seraph to the end. Uh, Domiagar D. I'm just reading, uh, Akeshic. I don't care. All out. Soul Eater Not. I don't know what that is. Ever thought I'd never find a girl online? Uh, Div Aria the Scarlet Ammo, Stein's Gate, Orange, Orange Momotaro, oh, Parasite the Movie, Jesus. Like, some of these aren't even, like, I'm not even finding... 3D2, 3D2Y special. Like, literally, this is about, like, I know what, like, this is all about. Like, you are fighting against, like, literally, Oda. I can't believe Oda. I don't know how long it took Oda to freaking write this. Like, a ripoff fruit of Luffy's, like, a more and more fruit. Instead of 100 times bigger or whatever, it's like almost Luffy's is made out of rubber. But don't worry, we're finding out some other stuff later. Of course, we're finding out some other stuff um, down, you know, down the route, you know. I think I lost where the fuck I was. Oh, Citrus. Oh, my God.
What is the Evagelion? You cannot? What is that? Is that like a film? Oh, it's Neon Genesis Evagelion, probably. It's Funimation, that's why. It's all fucking Funimation. Alright, so we have that. Neon, what the hell? Neon, hold on, I'm just gonna search this up. No, it's not on here. Neon Genesis on Netflix. Why is this shit on Netflix? Get the fuck out of here. I can't watch this anime on freaking on any. I can't watch this anime anywhere else. Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, I've, I've watched it already. King's Game. That's not even that bad. Yeah, it's not even that. I, I just don't want to. Oh my god, what'd you learn as you did this? Apparently Bankai, whatever that is. Oh Jesus, some goner. How you doing, bud? Jeez, I didn't even see your chat until I freaking... Until I, I, I just turned on my chat. You think nobody wants to talk. But anyways, how you doing, um, some goner? Good to see you, bud. Apparently Bankai or whatever that is. Jesus, that's hilarious. Some goner. That's a, that's a, that's a unique name. I'll give you that. Okay. Sorry, my I have this problem where my chat isn't like I'm looking up like I'm just scrolling down through like whatever I'm looking at and the chat will be like not even there. I have to switch to the program to even see your chat. It's fucking dumb, but I didn't even see it till fucking now. I sh see, that's another thing. I'd be paying attention to this. <laughs> Learn Bankai or something. Yeah, probably. Uh, I don't blame you if you left. I don't even blame you. I was not paying attention. I don't know why I, I don't I, I gotta like get better at that. There we go. Hold on. Uh oh wait, no. This isn't gonna there we go. This will work. So yeah, that's not even like some of these animes are just okay, I guess. Fairy gone. Who the fuck what? what? The Malkini Oh, I, I know what this is. It's that weird ass chick that she's like, yeah, you're going to join this club. And I'm forcing you to do it now. <laughs> she sounds like a fucking. Fucking can't. Let's see here. Um, Katana Maidens. She's I could watch that. I don't need the DVD. I will. What the to love rue darkness? I've already watched what? to love darkness two. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh my god! This is what is this part two? Come on, hey guy! Come on! Hey guy, killing me today. Like, what is this? Did I even spell the name right, or I'm I'm just to love rue darkness. I, I guess the show's gone. <laughs> the show's gone. It looks like the show is gone. Wh what? I, 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 I guess I'm not complaining if the show is gone. This and that and all else. Oh, my God. All right. What, what am I doing? Because half the time I'm just I'm just a dumbass. I, I don't I don't know what's going on anymore. My brain is starting to rot. <laughs> Yeah, okay, like, it's gonna be, like, you know, whatever. Freaking A, man. I can't. Let's see here. Um, 
New English dub edition. Get out of here. This fucking show is a nightmare. I watched the first. I, I watched all of it. Helsing. I wonder if they have. Uh... Oh, there you go. There's like a bunch of it. Um. Oh, wow. They only have season two. <laughs> Might as well just fucking watch it on thing. Violet Evergarden. Oh, it's a movie. Watch. It's probably a uh, Funimation. It's Funimation. Wah, wah, wah. That's okay, though. Sorry, but I was totally fucking necessary. That burp was t un totally unnecessary. I'm just burping. Ah! Oh my god! This guy's burping. Oh, this guy has to burp. That's disgusting. All right, why why am I eating this shit? Oh. Oh. Unnecessary to fucking burp. I burp every day. So it don't fucking matter to me. Oh, wow. It's the boob lady. Let me get her on screen. It's the fucking boob lady. Ass and boobs. More ass. More boobs. More boobs and ass. Just the boobs. And ass too. And more ass. It'd be kind of weird if I did like a weird like outfit just like hers. Um, Yoko. I guess what L is necessary. I don't know. Lose? Losing my mind? Lean? Run? I can eat whatever I want, I don't know. I just bought a hat. I bought this one, the mobile suit Gundam one. The great Saiyan man. It's L something E. Losing is unnecessary. Burping is unnecessary. Ugh. Oh. Oh. B -b 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 balls. What else we got here? The League of Villains. Not the Lady Gaga hats. Who cares? I don't give a shit about that. I don't even care. Let's see here. Uh, unisex. Those are massive fucking titties. No more boobs. No more anything. Oh, I can't live without boobs. Ah! <laughs> the hell's a guy supposed to be fucking staring at? A fucking a wall? Or just like this? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Mm. 
No more ass. I'm like, no, I don't want to look. The guy starts improvising. He's like, Ugh. well, it looks like I got to stare. I got to stare at some more shit. Let me stare at more. Find me at the R and R. I'll be waiting. What do you? What the fuck is an R and I? I don't. Are you talk? Uh, cause uh, I'm gonna talk about role playing. Cause that's a little uh. Barbie. I'm too dumb. I don't understand what's going on. I'm too much of a dumbass. My entire brain doesn't know anything. No role playing. I don't know. Am I am I playing as the Warrior of Light? I mean, I like to play as the Warrior of Light and I like to uh, make you the primal and destroy you all. Ein, it's Ein. Oh, it's my children. Reach and roar. I mean, that'd be kind of hilarious. Yeah, this is my reach and roar. I'm like, uh, but why? I don't, I don't want that. I want, I want to do that. I want to press the button. Destroying sounds good. I like to destroy things. I mean, who gives a shit? I mean, that'll be kind of fun, honestly. Jesus, that was quite the fucking burp. <laughs> Shit. I don't know what that means, okay? You expect me to figure that out when I can't. I'm like, uh, I don't know what that is. Okay, so I don't, if I, I'm not gonna figure it out and I'm not gonna care. Some fucking shit. I, I don't even care at this point. <laughs> no. Good, maybe I, I don't want to know. I don't need to know what R&R &R is. I don't really care. Cause I wanna rock and roll all night And the party every day I wanna party rock and roll all night And better every day Alright I'm just talking some random shit because we don't even care Oh, this man's wearing a fucking chicken suit, that's, that's hot <laughs> I would fucking love to freaking just <clears throat> Yeah, okay, you're yeah, okay. We're not you're not doing any kind of the bunny is back. Hello, welcome back. I wish you could have told me you had to go somewhere. God damn it. Of course, god damn it. We're having some fun here. We're just messing around. <laughs> We don't know any better. Like, what am I supposed to do? Joke's on me. I don't know what R&R &R is supposed to be. Come on, guys. Uh, welcome back. Uh, oh, that's terrible. That's some terrible burping. Life is at zero. What is wrong with you? You're not pulling any, you're not pulling any of that crap. It's not going to happen. You ain't going to do that. <laughs> nothing. You got nothing up your sleeve. Yeah, 
You got nothing on you. But anyways, how you doing, bunny? Uh, besides that conversation we were talking about earlier, I missed out on so many things. But whatever. Wednesday night drunk. Oh my god, people are so drunk. My life, my call. Well, you're gonna get really forgotten. You're basically not gonna have. You're gonna not gonna be able to do enough in this world. We're gonna we're gonna call Heidelin. We're gonna get her. We're gonna get her ass to wake you up. Like yo, stop fucking around. If I want to be at peace, then I will. Then sleep. Then sleep if you want a peace. Don't just jump off a cliff, damn it. Oh my god. Why would... Why, I have Pokemon 3, the DVD movie. So, we don't care. All right. I, I want to watch. I, I I do have. Oops, hold on. You know, let me put on Windows Capture because I do want to hear this because it's fucking hilarious. Oh my god, here we go. I want to see what this dude's about. Pika Pika. All right, screw this. We're we're. I'm totally gonna watch this. Oops, oh wait, no, we, we, oh yeah, I forgot, we have it on fucking mute, dumbass. There we go. Alright, you ever think back to when you were a kid, about some of the screwed up or embarrassing things that you took part in? You know what I'm talking about. Maybe you were the kid that peed your pants in the second grade during a spelling test, or maybe you drop kicked your best friend off a trampoline and broke his pelvis. Whatever it is. <laughs> uh, probably, I know, I've, I know a few of those things. I mean, I was kind of a weird person as a kid, but anyways. I think it's safe to say that we all have some deep-seated childhood regrets that we all carry around with us. Like, for example, one time oh when God. I was a kid, me and my sister decided to order a pizza. And the only problem with that was, it was the middle of winter, and it was like a goddamn stage 3 blizzard outside. Now, what kind of asshole makes somebody deliver a pizza on this hellish nightmare? There's fucking I don't know. outside and shit. I don't know, some fucking corporation that doesn't give a shit about your life. Welcome to America. My childhood was pretty good. Uh, mine was pretty good, too, but there were some, like, moments where I was just, like, that weird kid that I was growing up. I mean, I remember throwing snowballs and shit. You know, then, like, snowfall fights and everything. Played some games inside. I, I said a couple of my stuff on childhood. I might end up doing a whole... Sh I mean, anybody wants to hear my childhood, you're more than welcome to, but I have plenty to talk about. Who does such a thing? Well, nine-year-old me and my older sister, that's who. So after like two hours of us ordering the pizza, our doorbell goes off, and like a piece of shit, my sister sends me out to face the poor bastard to get our pizza. So I open the door, and of course, the delivery guy's this old dude all hunched over, freezing his ass off. Oh, hi there, Sonny. Sorry I took so long. I almost slid into oncoming traffic getting here, and I have arthritis in both of my cankles, so I can't move so fast. Holy hell, what a complete perfect asshole I felt like taking this guy's pizza. And to make matters worse, all my sister gave me to tip this guy was some crumpled up crusty ass dollar bill that looked like somebody blew their nose into it. Uh. So I handed it over to the guy when all of a sudden a fucking gust of wind rips it right out of my hand and the thing goes tumbling. I may. OK, well, I'm going to read this one. I may have gone into trouble now and then, but not too much, though. Oh, yeah, I was the same thing, too. I used to like. I my grandfather just got wicked mad at me at the time. And because there was one time we were living in. If you don't know my state very well. There's an island towards east in my state. It's called uh, there's two of them. There's Martha's Vineyard and then there's Nantucket. I used to live in Nantucket when I was a kid for about a couple of years. I don't I don't know why we moved out there. I, maybe I should ask. Um, but at the time, my grandfather knew somebody that did the fishing yard or whatever. And my state is known for its seafood. So we end up getting like bay scallops, like the fresh, fresh space scallops, because they're really fucking tiny, about the size of me like this. 
So one day I get like a piece of scallops. And then my grandfather has a whole fucking plate. I ate the whole plate on him. Um, I said Massachusetts. So I'm from Massachusetts. We are known for our seafood over here. So anyways, like I was saying, my grandfather leaves a whole fucking plate of fucking scallop, these base scallops. And his fucking me, I fucking ate the whole fuck. I ate the thing. I ate one piece of it and I started eating it all. And I was like six or seven years old. He's like, no, you ate the damn scallops. No. <laughs> or some shit. I remember like my meme at the time, too. I used to fucking when I was like a little kid. I think I was like two or one. Maybe I was a baby. I would spray fucking milk at the inside of the VCR as I thought I had a mouth on it because I had a mouth. So I was thinking, oh, maybe it's to be fed. Just fucking spray milk on that. Going off into the abyss, never to be seen again. So now this feeble old man's just staring at me, arthritic cankles and all. What the hell am I supposed to do in this situation? Well, what I should have done was got old man River out of the elements there, served him some hot cocoa, and made him my honorary grandpa. But instead, I just fucking shut the door in his face. I was like eight years old, all right? I didn't know what the hell to do in a situation like that. Oh, okay, have a good day then. I guess I'll die now. And that was it. Oh, wow. I sat down and ate some pizza, and I never told anybody about that experience ever in my life. So now as a grown-ass man, 20 years later, I'll be laying in bed at night, and I'll just randomly start thinking of that old guy freezing his ass off. Yeah, that's gonna be a fun <laughs> one to explain. Uh, yeah, can you explain why uh, you leave an old man freezing his ass off when you're eight years old? I'm like, um, but I was eight years old. I wasn't 20 when I'm standing outside the pearly gates and shit. Uh, it says here that when you were nine, you attempted to murder an old man for a Little Caesars one-topping? Do you have anything to say for yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to plead the fifth on that one, Pete. But you see, that's the kind of shit that I'm talking about. Childhood regrets that you'll never live down. Now, another childhood regret of mine was when I was over at my friend Zachary's house that oh, lived what across is, the street. What is this? Like, why would I even regret, like, any of this shit? <laughs> I just, I, I'm just curious, like, what kind of fucked up shit does this guy even have up his sleeve? I mean, this, this, this dude's got really good, like, storytelling and everything. I once snuck out of the house. I didn't get caught until at least a few days later when my sister ratted me out. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. I fucking can't. Freaking, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, like I said, I didn't have really too much childhood stuff except for like I like I said, I have an aunt that's like younger than me. Everybody's like, yo, what? You have an aunt, Lizzie? I'm like, yeah, my aunt's like younger than me. As so I make a joke and I'm like, hi, auntie. And she's like, don't call me that. I'm like, well, you're aunt now. Too bad. It's hilarious. I used to lie when I was a kid, too. So that was another thing I used to realize. I fucking lied all the time to do stupid shit like that. But, weird -ass kid. but we'd always put up with him because he always had the coolest toys growing up. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, definitely. Uh, you would definitely use the kid just to get all the cool toys. He had the talk boy from Home Alone. He had Furbies coming out the ass. He had the fucking robot from Rocky IV. The kid had it all. What can I say? But the thing that we were most envious of was his gigantic Pokemon card collection. And this was back in the 90s, when kids valued Pokemon cards more than life itself. Michael, if you ever touch my holographic Charizard, I'll find and murder your entire bloodline. Do you understand me? But Zachary didn't care about his Pokemon cards at all. They're all spread out in his room, all willy-nilly. They're all ripped and bent up and shit. His ass would practically tap dance all over him. He had so many of them, he didn't care. And that shit made us sick to our stomachs. I mean, it would be one thing if these were just energy and trainer cards we're talking about. But the kid had a holographic Zapdos on the middle of his floor for great sake. <laughs> <laughs> holographic... Oh, oh, my God. not the not, not not the good Pokemon cards. <laughs> Damn it, kid. Animal abuse for fake animals. Somebody should have called the fake humane society on his ass. So after seeing Zachary's blatant disrespect towards his holographic Zapdos, what the hell did I decide to do? Well, what I should have done was take Zachary aside and be like, dude, I've seen a kid beat another kid over the head with a pogo stick for a fucking holographic Zapdos. Get your shit together and take care of your Pokemon card. But instead, I fucking pocketed that holographic Zapdos. Yeah, that's right, I stole it. I'm not proud of it. But with my broken nine-year-old logic, I wasn't stealing it so much. <laughs> he stole a Pokemon card. I fucking can't. Yeah, I want to steal this Pokemon card. I remember, I remember Pokemon cards was a thing.
Well, wasn't thing when I was a kid. I was rescuing it from a life of cruelty. So now after all these years later, I'm still filled with regret because I stole this kid's shiny fucking piece of cardboard. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do? Track down Zachary's goofy ass and be like, hey, uh, I know we're both grown ass men now, but uh, that's a Pokemon card that I stole from you back when Bill Clinton was in office. All right then, uh, see you later. Oh, and uh, by the way, you're a cartoon on the internet and uh, I didn't bother to change your real name. Uh, sorry about that. So if you're watching this, Zach, I just want to say sorry about the petty theft. And if you want your Zapdos back, well, I still have it because I take care of my goddamn Pokemon cards. All right, let's do one more memory about. I still take care of your Pokemon cards, even though I'm a piece of shit. About me being a piece of shit and we're <laughs> done with it. Now this time we're in my next door neighbor Michael's front yard. And we're doing what most dirty little kids were doing in the 90s. We're playing WWF front yard wrestling. That's what we're doing. Uh, I didn't fucking do that. It was just me and like the only child that was in my house or the only, like around me was my aunt. So me and my I just played sh games with my aunt mainly. She was like one and I was like six or seven years old. And this particular matchup was between my friends David and Michael. David, of course, was Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Michael, on the other hand, was Bill Goldberg. Now, of course, we told Michael that he couldn't be a WCW character, but naturally, Michael didn't give a fuck. So there they are, fighting to the death in Michael's front yard. I'm playing the role of referee in this shitty wrestling match. And to call it wrestling to begin with was a stretch of the imagination. I mean, you got David over there, like, ripping the hair out of Michael's hair and shit. I'm just standing there like... Why would you rip your fucking hair out? Fucking kids. Okay, I'll allow it. That's a completely legitimate wrestling move. Well, things start getting a little dicey when these two idiots start getting a little too close to the sidewalk. Now, what I should have done in this situation would have been like, Hey, you idiots, get back over here. Somebody's about to crack their head on the sidewalk. But what I did instead was not say a goddamn thing. I mean, there's a styrofoam championship belt on the line, for Christ's sake. I can't interrupt the match now. Well, imagine my surprise when David pulls off a haphazard German suplex and he cracks Michael's head on the sidewalk. Oh! Right the wow. Not only a fucking... <laughs> Oh, would he crack his head open? 30 out of six going off in the neighborhood. At the time, I thought Michael's brain just exploded on impact. I was almost positive people on the street were calling the cops like, Yeah, hello, police. Get the paddy wagon. I just watched a kid in a Scotty Pippen jersey get murdered in cold blood. Thankfully, to our surprise, Michael sits up and, uh, well, he's looking a little disheveled to say the least. Uh, Michael, are you all right? So now, what did me and David decide to do? Well, what we should have done was run inside and get Michael's drunk-ass stepdad and be like, Hey, uh, Mr. Michael's stepdad, we were being deeply irresponsible, and no. I think we might have just scrambled Michael's brains into oblivion. Oh, my but God. instead of doing that, we just took off running down the road and left Michael to die by the street. I know, it was a shitty thing to do, but again, we were like nine years old, and we didn't want to get in trouble. Hell, we even went back and grabbed the styrofoam belt before Michael's stepdad came outside flipping out. Wow, what the hell's going on out here? Michael, fix that stupid look on your face and get your ass inside. Now, in the end, Michael was all right from that whole event. I mean, he oh probably God. had a mild concussion at least, but, uh, well, it was the 90s, so it was no big deal. Wow. What, what do you mean your head's fuzzy and you can't remember how to tie your shoes? Oh, rub some dirt in it and stop being a wuss. So, Michael, if you're watching this, I'd like to apologize on behalf of me and David. We should and left you there on the side of the street but at the same time i'm gonna stand by my call it was a technical knockout and david's still the champion so i guess you can suck it the end <laughs> you can suck it oh uh, that's that's great first time being wasted all right i want to like not watch this for too long because i'm like i said this is <laughs> it's gonna be great this is gonna be great let's see all right now, a lot of you may already know this, but I like to have a drink from time to time. And by all means, I'm no Stone Cold Steve Austin, but I like to think that I have a decent tolerance and I can hold my own. Now, of course, that's not always been the case. I mean, everybody's got to start somewhere, right? So today, I'm going to tell you about the first time that I got drunk. And of course, it's not a pretty story. It's a lot like everybody else's story about the first time they blacked out and made an ass of themselves. Oh, God, the first time I got drunk, I puked in the bushes, broke up with my boyfriend, and then shat in my own bed. Uh, that's great, Aunt Carol. Can you pass the mashed potatoes, please? But I'm going to tell the story anyway. Uh because uh, this is my shit the <laughs> channel and I feel like telling it. But before I do that, Bruce Two Films does not condone binge drinking in any way, shape, or form. Alcohol is bad for you, it makes you smell like divorce, and it's the reason why your Uncle Rick sleeps on your couch. Aw, oh, goddammit. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's set the stage. It's roughly 10 years ago, and my roommate Brewer just turned 21 years old. 
and we're looking to celebrate. How are we gonna celebrate, you ask? Well, we're gonna fucking drink like pirates, what do you think? But since we were both broke as hell back then, our options on alcohol were very limited. After all, your beer budget's pretty slim when you're having utilities shut off on a routine basis. So naturally, we got a case of the cheapest, shittiest beer we could find. No, even shittier than that. Shittier still, keep going. Whoa, whoa, way too far. No, we're not fucking animals, Jesus Christ. There, that's the one perfect. So we have some friends over, we start drinking some beers, and we're playing some cards. Well, imagine my surprise Drinking, when I find fucking, out drinking. I ain't never even heard of this shit. Papa's Blue Ribbon. That I hate the taste of beer. I thought it was yucky back then, which was crazy to me because my ass grew up watching Stone Cold Steve Austin two fist and cold ones every Monday night. How the hell could I not like beer? <laughs> now, maybe it tastes different if you drink it on top of a turnbuckle in your underwear. I don't know. But fortunately for me, Brewer didn't just get shitty beer to drink. He also got an equally shitty bottle of tequila. And we're talking bottom of the barrel stuff here. This ain't no Jose Cuervo. This is like Jose fucking hell the fuck no. This is a very unauthentic bottle of tequila. It's about as Mexican as my high school Spanish teacher Shit. Pico. Oh my god, no, no, oops. I was hit up. Yeah, do you want to wrap this out? No. Oh, D. Gallo. Poor favor? Grassy ass. Now, let me just say, learning how to drink on shitty tequila is a terrible idea. It's like trying to learn how to ride a bike as a kid on fucking Evil Knievel's rocket cycle. No. <laughs> That wasn't gonna stop me because that night I was determined to get hammered. You guys dare me to take a shot for every hand that I lose? What? No. no. Dude, that sounds like a terrible idea. Okay, do you double dare me? No, dude, are you fucking nuts? Okay, fine, I'll do it. I'll fucking do it, since you insist. Now, the name of the game that we were playing that night was Euchre. And for those of you that don't know, Euchre is a card game that we play out here in the Midwest. And Euchre just so happens to pair very well with drinking copious amounts of alcohol. It's pretty much all we got to do out here in the Midwest. What can I say? But taking a shot for every hand that I lost in Euchre I never heard of Euchre, so I can't even say much. Euchre was stupid as hell. I mean, for one, I blew ass at Euchre. I had no business making that bet in the first place. And for two, since I never drank before, I had the alcohol tolerance of a fucking diabetic third grader. So throughout the night, I'm getting my ass kicked in, and I'm having to take shot after shot like I'm fucking Superman. Gulp, gulp. Oh, God, it tastes like spicy piss. I hate it. And contrary to games like bowling or pool, I don't get better at Euchre the more that I drink. I just get shittier and shittier and shittier. Oh, and my God. Yelling at me from the inside and shit. Stop calling Trump when you're four suited, you stupid asshole. Are you trying to ruin us? Well, needless to say, about an hour goes by, and all of a sudden, I'm fucking drunker than a stepdad at a Little League game. Gulp, gulp. This doesn't taste like spicy piss anymore. This doesn't taste like anything anymore. So I stumble into the bathroom, and like a lot of people do their first time getting drunk, I look into the mirror, and I meet my drunk self for the first time. Whoa, wait a minute. Who the hell are you? Oh, well, I'm the drunk you. That's who I am. I'm a lot like sober you, but shittier, louder, and sometimes I think I know how to dance. Oh, wow. Okay, then. Now at this point, <clears throat> things start to get a little hazy, because it's at this point your brain's like, hey, you can take it from here, right? I'm going to run down to the store and get a pack of smoke. Uh, try not to fuck yourself up too bad, okay? Now, the last thing that I distinctly remember from that night was playing WrestleMania on the Nintendo 64, which everybody knows is the greatest wrestling game known to man. But since I'm drunker than a sophomore in prom night, Brewer is just beating my ass, which goes to show how drunk I was because Brewer sucks ass at WrestleMania. I was Stone Cold Steve Austin, for Christ's sake. He's over there beating my ass with the Blue Meanie of all people. The <laughs> Blue Meanie? I don't even know who Blue Meanie it is. God damn it. I couldn't tell you because, well, I wasn't there. I mean, sure, I was there physically, but my brain was off getting a pack of Marlboro Reds, remember? But according to everybody's testimony the next day, apparently I stood up on the couch and yelled something to the effect of, ah, fuck the blue meanie. You guys want to see me do a drop kick for real? And then to nobody's amusement, I did a haphazard missile drop kick into the air and totally obliterated my shitty end table that I made in wood shop. Now that everybody's staring at me like I just ruined Christmas, I decided to do my finishing move. And that, of course, is where I throw up on the floor like a newborn baby. Blech. Oh, sick! What kind of circus shit is going on here? And just when you think I couldn't possibly make an ass of myself anymore, I fucking stick my hand in my own puddle of throw up. Now, why the hell would I do something like that? Well, again, I have no idea. I wasn't there. But I think I was just trying to make sure that it was all real. Like, there was no way that I did What is going on with this shit? <laughs> it doesn't feel like my puke. Well, it's at this point that everybody's oh my God. with my fucking theatrics. So they cart me away, take me to bed like I'm a child. But just before they close my door, my drunk ass has the audacity to wish Brewer one final happy birthday. Hey, happy birthday. Blech. Oh, God. 
next morning, I wake up with what I would call a hangover from hell. My mouth tastes like the inside of a porter potty. My head feels like it was shoved up an asshole of some sort. I stumble out to the living room that now looks like a fucking crime scene from an episode of Law and Order, and I'm totally back. Whoa, what happened? Who the hell broke my end table? I got a B minus on that goddamn thing. You did, you stupid drunk idiot. And then you fucking played patty cake with your puddle of puke like some kind of sick asshole. So needless to say, the moral of this story is pretty simple. Number one, don't drink a bunch of shitty tequila like it's the end of the world. Number two, don't make shitty bets on Euchre when you suck ass at Euchre. And number three, don't put your hand in your own throw up like some kind of drunk animal and ruin the whole goddamn birthday party. The end. <laughs> Bruce, dude. Well, anyways. Um, all right, we're going to get off here for today. Um, there's a lot of fun. Uh, thank you guys for stopping in. Uh, let me just kind of just switch here. All right, well, I want to get off for the night. It was a lot of fun just talking, do whatever I want, whatever. So I do have one clip of uh, just something for, for the third anniversary, just burping like a crazy person. But anyways, on Twitch, thank you guys so much. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, of course. I will see you guys on Friday when we get to play Ghost of Tsukushima, which will be a lot of fun to play. I want to play Ghost of Tsukushima. That game was lots of fun. That game makes me drunk as shit. So anyways, thank you, Bunny Boo Brook, uh, Deirdre, uh, Blueberry, uh, some goner, even though I was not paying attention to your chat. That was my fault for that. And of course, thank you, BZ, for stopping on it and Mom's Basement Gaming. Uh, thank you for saying happy three years. So that'll be amazing. But anyways, thank you guys so much. I will talk to you guys on Friday. I will see you guys then. So anyways, I love you all. Peace out. And of course, have a great one.
Thank you.